Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. Thank you so much, Dominique and Keon, for your time. The happy family back together. Well, maybe not so happy family, but the family back together again. Yes. Five. Yeah. Very, very fascinating into season five and what's going to happen with Philip and all these interesting things we're going to find out. For, for Naomi, beginning with you, Dominique. Naomi, we've seen her go through lots of trials, ups and downs, and it's been quite a journey to get to this point. When you look back at the very beginning, what are you most proud of, of her journey since, since you started to this point? I think, you know, what's great about season five is we get to see what happened. The point that we find her in season one, episode one, when she's on the Canterbury, this, what we're about to watch is kind of, it lets you know what she was running away from. And I think her having to leave her son is, I think that's a huge thing for any parent. Um, and so I'm most proud of how she still created a life for herself. And um, even though it was in the face of quite a deep seated trauma that I'm not sure everybody would be able to um, carry on from. And so, I think what we also get to see in season five is the extent of her survivor instinct. And so she really is a survivor in pretty much every aspect of the word. And so I think um, that and also all the seeds that we planted in season one come into like full circle fruition in season five. I think that's going to be really rewarding, especially if you've watched from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So um, it's probably those things. I love a good payoff, especially when the, the seeds are planting early. And the same with Mar Marcos, it's just so, I don't even know what to make of him sometime. You know, there's shades of a villain, you know, on a, on a scale of one to 10, there's twos and threes. And then there's Marcos who's somewhere in the seven, eight, nines for me. What, how much more menacing can he be? How many more people got to die for him to get to where he needs to be? What is his journey going to be this season? Can he, is he going to chill a little bit or is he going to take it up to an even higher level? I mean, look at where we're at. There's a, there's, there is systemic injustice all around us that's been left unaddressed for a very, very long time. And things are crusty and old and outdated and have been sitting there in place for a long time. So there's a lot that needs to be shaken up, Deandra. There's uh, there's uh, his if his mission is to bring justice to the Belters, it, there's gonna some some shit has gonna is gonna have to fly. Uh, so I think Marco's willing to do a lot to make that happen, um, and we're gonna see a lot this season. This is a really beautiful season for for Marco's plans. But the thing is that all of a sudden. Uh, someone shows up who he used to be in love with, who throws a little wrench into the plans because she's his kryptonite. She is the one person he cannot um, uh, seduce with his charm and strategy and manipulativeness anymore. She, she sees right through him and she shows up right at the peak of the plan. So the, uh, the 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 fans are definitely in for a bit of a roller coaster and seeing sides of Marco that we have not seen at all, or maybe have have stereotyped him not to have at all. So uh, we we are definitely moving out of the black and white, and we're going full spectrum. Mm -hmm. And it it's been quite a ride for like you said for anyone who's been from season one just to see the evolution of the worlds the characters this season we see all the crews are splitting apart and just a whole lot of new things are happening for for you dominique what would you say or what would could you give do you have any spoilers that you can give us without context because i've only seen the first three episodes that's all they gave us just three for this season What's something your showrunner gave us a spoiler without context when I talked to him a few minutes ago. What's something that you can say about Naomi this season and, and her journey and, and Philip and all what's going to happen? I will say it is the most 
emotionally challenging and the most physically challenging we have ever seen her. Um, and you'll know what I mean when you see the whole season. I think it's the only thing I can say without spoiling, but it's, it's the extremes of both those things. That's awesome. Thank you so much, you guys. Can't wait to see the Twitters. <laughs> I'm getting crazy. Thank you so Hello. much. <laughs> Thank you, Jandra. Bye-bye. Yeah. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.